Oh, there's Raul. Heel to heel. Coqueta just to, just for the finesse, and then bam. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another Prime Icon review. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing Prime Icon Raul right now. We just finished doing the Kaka one, and if you guys haven't seen that one yet, we do have that on the channel, so be sure to check that one out. But for today's video, we're going to be checking out Raul. As you guys know, Chak, thank you so much for using your account. He's got beast players, but yeah, as you guys know, I like to use players that are like around the general area of where it's kind of like basic to see if certain players kind of like stand out amongst other players. Uh, Chak decided to give him an engine card, which we, we will be taking a look at to see if that's the ideal uh, card to give him. He is 5 foot 11, high medium work rates. Uh, his preferred foot is obviously the left foot. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skill. Move, so we're already starting off really, really nicely with this card. If we go to footbin and we check out what the engine does to his card, we're looking at really increased dribbling stats. We're talking about the high 90s in regards to dribbling because. His composure is already 92. We're talking about plus fives in the pace, which is obviously a big difference as well. His finishing is already 96. His shot power is 87 and his long shots is 88. So this actually might be the best chemistry style to give him because of those stats already being very good. Because if you give him a sniper, you're going to be increasing stats that are not going to matter that much because he's 5'11 with high 90s, low 90s in regards to dribbling. So it's already very good with the engine card. The shot power is fine. The long shot is fine. 96 to a 99. It could be a small difference, but it's not enough to be like, oh, I really need to give him a shooting boost. So I think Chak did a good job of giving him an engine card because I think uh, that makes the most sense. And then the thing about engine too is you're also increasing his general passing as well, right? Like this guy can be a playmaker for you essentially. So, you know, if you really want to switch him in game to play as your actual cam, you can, right? With strikers around his general area. But um, yeah, we're going to be trying out Raul. I think he has like... I think he has like barns and stuff too, so I have to go check out those cards too if you guys want me to review those. But for today's video, we're going to be, uh, or for the next video today, we're going to be uh, reviewing the Raul card. I think he's honestly going to be incredible. I think his finishing is going to be super clinical. I think dribbling on the ball is going to be very good, and I think his off-the-ball movement uh, will be fantastic as well. So what I'm going to be doing with this team is going to be lined up like this because I just wanted to change a few things here and there. Obviously, I can use the higher meta cards, but... I want to try not to. Uh, the instructions that we have set for this is going to be like this. So Lucas Mora is going to be playing as the cam. Simon on the left. Uh, Chong on the right. Roberto Firmino on the left. Conte, blah, blah, blah. This is how the team is going to line up in game. Same exact instructions that I usually use uh, for my teams, except I change the attacking play style to be on possession with players in the box set to three and with set to five because it kind of fits my play style a little bit more it's supposed to be five and five for the defense it just fits my play style more and i enjoy it a little bit more so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to get into a game right now we're going to try out this card i really do think it's going to be very good um a lot of different things to analyze with the card especially if he's a striker is is general movement on the ball off the ball uh whether his physical presence is noticeable and stuff because if you guys look at his card here oh i'd even show you guys the custom tactics properly my bad so the custom tactics will be like this uh, four, two, three, one with uh, like this, right? So Lucas Moore as a cam, Raul as a striker. Um, but with the player himself, we're going to go ahead and check out his physical 77 strength, 88 stamina, 91 jumping. So he pretty much has it all, right? So it's just a matter of, uh, of seeing whether or not he has it all in game. So let's go ahead and try him out. So far, I really like his off-the-ball movement. He he kind of like picks and chooses when to run at perfect times. Because he runs forward just kind of like to push the back line back. He's going to be through here. That's a first-time shot. Oof. I wanted to see specifically. It's not ideal to do the first-time shot there. But I did want to see specifically if that was... Uh, if that's something I can do with his card in a general sense. Normally, what you want to do is kind of like touch the ball first. And then kind of like understand, okay, maybe, maybe I want to take an extra touch here to make sure I... Make sure I score the opportunity properly. But I wanted to see what he would be like from that angle, shooting from that position. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can get the opening here. We got skill moves here. A little quick dribbles. And he gets the ball. Yeah, his off-the-ball movement is fantastic. I definitely really like it. I like the way he understands. When I'm attacking with other players, he understands what my other players are doing. And that's how he positions himself accordingly, which I really, really like. It's given away. 
the message has gone to the defenders of the away team here. I also noticed with his car that he likes to stay in the middle too, which I really, really like. I don't, I, I, I hate when my strikers like to transition to the side, and uh, he definitely doesn't not, he doesn't do that at all. He actually really does stay in his uh, central central position at all times right it could be a good and a bad thing right there's moments in game where you want your striker to transition to the side so that they can make that other transitioning uh, run from the outside to the inside um because it opens up the space that way as well so you could make your player really stagnant there in the striker position by not allowing him to move but um yeah so far his off the ball movement in regards to that is very central oriented so pretty good in that regard That's a free kick. Nice. Could potentially score here with Raul because he is a left-footed player. So what you can actually do here is select Raul to take this free kick, right? He's the one that's going to make the run in the, in the middle. We're going to wait for the little transition run, pass the ball instantly to him, and then score the opportunity. Ooh, is it his player does the AI interception right there. Get that scoop turn off. Lucas Moura is not a good cam, so he doesn't utilize that empty space well in the middle. Which is, that's when quality of players kind of matter a lot. Doing all the skill moves, and we got that physical right there. So that's, that's that part right there, right? Where you do the ball roll, flick, you just, you hold the right stick to do the ball roll, then you flick it in the opposite direction, and then instantly, because I know I'm not going to get the ball right away, I shield it, and then get possession of it. Maybe we can chip it to the right side over here. Let's try that out. Oh, he saves it, but we still score it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, beautiful dribbling. I love his dribbling. Definitely a noticeable presence with that engine card for sure. I'm going to call him close here. A little layoff right there. Beautiful. Oh, it should have been a foul there, actually. From this position. Roberto Firmino, nice little tap shot. There it is. Uh, that left foot with Raul being able to qu to quickly cut. That's that's the when I was when I was doing the Kaká review. That's what I was talking about with Karim Benzema is that he doesn't do that right. Being able to do quick cuts like that with Raul Gonzalez makes it's just a huge difference, right? Because you see the space being made. You you know when you have to time that run right on that line, and it's it's just very important to have that type of that type of dribbling. In that general space, right? Oh, fast fake shot. Really good fake shot right there. Beautiful scoop turn again. Quick dribbles on his left foot. Croquetta still has the physical presence to have the ball. He's falling a little bit because this game's mechanics a little bit weird. Get that angle. Oof. His dribbling was really good right there. Oh, great off the ball movement. Now he's going to put on his left foot. This guy's going to make the run. Fake shot on the outside. Nice little near post shot. Chong with the finish, right? It's it's nice. They always like transition back into the middle. You do the first time fake shot to go on the outside, put it on a near post angle and you score the opportunity. It's great. It's great play in general there. Well, it's something that they have done this season and they've done it with a bit of success at times. Threaded through by Raul. Takes the shot off. The Still got the goal. Nice. Ra Lucas Moore doesn't have any uh, chemistry style on him. Uh, he's not that great of a card himself, but he doesn't uh, he doesn't have any chemistry style, so it's only it's obviously going to make it worse, right? So, but uh, we end up scoring the goal, so pretty good. Great off the ball moment from Raul. Lucas Moore. Hopefully, he utilizes that empty space in the middle. Layoff pass. One more pass. There it is. It's it's weird because like I said they don't it's it's when you get into that general area your players are kind of like stagnant the only reason why I get that ball is because his uh, defensive AI didn't really respond that well to it but a good goal in general we open up the space really well and we end up scoring it. Nice little drag back get that finesse shot angle there it is you want to put it on his strong foot right there right so it's like you can shoot it with his right for sure but very very silky. Silky finesse shot that he took right there. It's it's power, precision. It's kind of like the Kaká situation, right? Like it's the way they take the finesse shots when they have good stats. That's like very noticeable. 
Oh, there's Raul. Heel to heel. Coqueta just to, just for the finesse, and then bam. Beautiful, beautiful goal. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card, guys. This card is freaking awesome to use. And he's a versatile player, too. I'll explain why, right? You can use him anywhere in the attacking area. If you want to use him in a 4-2-3-1 on the left cam, right cam, central cam, and then striker position, he's going to do amazingly well for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Engine is the right card to give him. I really think that increasing his dribbling stats in general when he already has really good composure in 92 uh, with a plus five in the pace, which was amazing. His dribbling is so responsive on the ball. It's so beautiful to work with. His finishing is obviously incredible. Never had a problem with it at all. Um, there was one first time shot that I did just to test it, but it wasn't like one of those like, okay, well, this one should be going in. I just wanted to see it to see how he would specifically take the shot. But uh, every time I got the angle that made sense for him to score, he would score the opportunity. He was so silky on the ball, very, very fast in the skill moves. Physical presence was also noticeable on the card with 77 strength uh, because the icons, they give them a little bit of stock in game, which makes a big difference. I don't know what it is, but using a left-footed player up top at striker with a four-star weak foot is just so much fun, my dude. I don't know what it is. I love. I don't know what it is with left-footed players. I freaking love left-footed players. It's a big reason why I like Usman Dembele so much, right? But, dude, you give him extra passing, right? If you put him in the cam position, that passing would be good in the cam position, right? I think in the cam position, he would be amazing. That's how good this card is. I think as a striker and as a cam, because a Chak actually has him in a setup in his team where he has him as a cam. And it makes sense because he's a very good player. His off the ball movement is fantastic. When I played him up top as a striker, he really stayed in the center. You know how sometimes strikers are like, oh, my characteristic is to push out wide and transition back into the middle. He didn't do that. He just stayed in the middle. He stayed in his position and allowed himself to open up the space for everybody else. He kind of felt like a false nine striker in a way that just understood when he should run and when he shouldn't. So honestly, is the card worth it? Yeah, he's freaking great, man. He's a really, really fun card to use. Not full meta in regards to pro players meta but still a really really fun card to use and he's honestly unbelievable in this game i really really enjoyed my time with him so that's pretty much it for the review guys thank you guys so much for watching we're going to try to get some prime icon reviews out for you guys we're going to be talking about the icon swaps tomorrow which one uh, which ones are worth doing which ones aren't blah blah, blah. and uh yeah we should get like maybe kenny dalglish maybe pavel nedved we'll see what's up uh afterwards all right peace out my dudes love you guys you guys have yourself a good day happy holidays merry christmas and uh, yeah, I'll see you for the videos tomorrow. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.